Axis and action mappings are now deprecated, which means they will be removed from a future build, and everyone will be forced to switch over. So this video will be covering how to switch your player character over to enhanced input. So start by creating a folder wherever your player character is. I'm just calling it input. And in there, if you right click, you'll notice there's an input tab here that's been added. And first of all, let's start with the player mappable input config and the input mapping context. Okay, so there's this error. Let's open the mapping uh, mappable input config. You'll have to name it. I'm just going with player. And then in context, you have to add the one we just made. It's the only thing there. So click that. And now it won't give you an error. And that's the only thing for that. So next, let's add an input. And I'm going to start with movement. So the nice thing about this system is all the directions of movement can be contained within this one input action. So open that up. We have all these options. These can all stay the same, but we need to change value type here to an axis 2D. So it'll, it'll track X and Y for movement. Now we can go into player input mapping context, add a mapping, and select our movement. Now this here is the bindings. So we can have four bindings for four directions and you can do the same for uh, gamepad and stuff too. But for now we got W, so you can click here, W, S, D, and A. And then expand all of those. For W, modifiers can remain empty. For S, we negate. So we negate because keyboard keys only have one input, pressed or unpressed. And that defaults in the engine as X. And if you're aware, X is the forward vector. So W just happens to be X, which is forward, so we don't have to modify it. S is still X. So all we have to do is negate it. So it's negative X for backwards. Now A and D for left and right is a bit different. We have to swizzle the input axis, which is a funny word. And the default one is fine. So it'll swap X and Y. So it basically just puts Y in X's place. And where X is the forward vector, Y is the engine's default right vector. So inversely for A, we have to stick with the swizzle, but we also have to add the negate since this is the negative right vector left. So now we can go into character player and here's our movement, the now deprecated movement. So basically all of this can go except one movement input. This is my footstep stuff, so I'm going to just set that aside for now. So we can right click, and if you type enhanced, you'll get all your enhanced action values. Or you can type movement, the name of your action, and it'll appear somewhere. There it is. So we want the event, the event listener, which is this icon here. Okay, so that will give us the X and Y, but it's world vectors, it's world directions, so it won't change based on where you're looking. So we just have to rotate the vector based on control rotation. And that should do it. Now, with the enhanced input system, you have to actually call it within the character. So, so on begin play, we have to get controller and cast that to a player controller, and then get enhanced input local player subsystem, 
and then add a map in context. And select our map in context. Okay, so let's see if that works now. Okay, there you go. So only thing remaining is my footstep thing. So another nice thing about this system is all these execution links. So we have triggered, which will repeatedly play the footstep timeline, which isn't harmful, but it's just nicer to plug it into started so it only starts once. And then you can plug stop into completed or cancelled and it'll stop uh, without the use of branches or anything. So they start and stop. Okay, so that's basically it. So the same thing applies if you want to create a look. So just set value type to axis 2D. Uh, and then in the mapping context, you would add look. And you can only find it in here. So under mouse, there's mouse XY and modifier you would negate, but that creates this drop down here, right? So you can negate Y because by default in the engine, Y is inverted. And then up here with camera input, you can search your event here, look, because it handles both axes, we can just sequence this and then split these pins and drag out X and Y into your inputs. And let's see if that worked. There you go. Okay, so that's pretty much it. Uh, let me know what you think about this system. I kind of have mixed feelings. There's some cool things, but it's kind of also convoluted. But anyway, let me know if there's anything else you want to see, and have a good one. And it looks like this is going out on New Year's Day, so Happy New Year!